Linkuru! All right, yeah, boys and bitches. We're gonna talk about what's in the DLC. I don't know what it is about this DLC, but it seems like a lot of people don't know about it because I constantly get comments and messages from people on stream and in my videos asking me, what is this car? Or if I use this one, like, what is that? So uh, I'm a little bit surprised about that. Usually people don't ask me about DLC cars. I guess these weren't marketed as well as most of their DLCs. I don't really know. But I'm here to bring the good knowledge to the good people of Rocket League. It should cost 4.99 euros or 5.99 USD. Unless, of course, your game glitches out and says that it's 154 Russian ruble. Wait, the currency is in, like, Russian? Brazil. Ruble? <laughs> Mine's BRL. It comes with three cars. The Gazella GT. MR11, the fast four-wheel drive, which I have a modded decal on. The name of the car is technically fast forward. It's supposed to be a play on the words forward and four-wheel drive. It has an octane hitbox. The MR11 and Gazella GT both have a Dominus hitbox. So if you're a fan of flat cars, these are good choices for you. But if you're more of an octane player, of course, this is great. And it also has a few extra items as well. The MR11 wheels, the Hot Wheels 15th anniversary wheels. There's a lot of modding uh, potential in these, like these could be easily modded to look like anything. The Gazella GT wheels. Honestly, I gotta say these Hot Wheels wheels are really sick looking. I'm not even kidding, like they're actually really cool. And the fast four wheel drive wheels. Um, these things, I believe, are part of it as well. Cute little hats. The hell, I haven't actually seen these before, I gotta be honest with you. And yeah, that's it, that's all you get from the pack. And from my own experience, I can really only talk about Fast Forward because I've been using this car for almost a month now. And I gotta say, it feels great. You know, it takes a little bit of getting used to because it's obviously not the exact same shape of a car. So obviously, even though the hitbox is the same, it still is a different shaped car visually. So what you see compared to the actual hitbox is a little bit different and that, t that takes a little bit of time to get used to, but not long. I would give it a week or two and then you're pretty much just as good as you would be with an Octane. So honestly, for me, I think this car looks cooler than an Octane and that's one of the reasons why I really like to switch to this one. Also because I'm doing the Sunless Con challenge where I'm supposed to use a different car for a month. I'm almost done with the month too, but after the month ends, I'm still going to keep using this car because I'm a I'm a fast forward main now. I don't mess with Octane, boys. The Gazella and MR11, I got to be honest, I haven't really used MR11 at all. Maybe one match. Uh Gazella feels all right. Visually, I think it's great. I mean, if it has a Dominus hitbox, surely it feels a lot like a Dominus. I think for a Dominus main, this would take longer to get used to than for an Octane main to get used to the fast forward. Because I feel like this in shape is a lot different than Dominus. It's more round, might even be shorter. I'm not sure, I could be totally wrong on that, but it's, it just seems very different from the, f the way that a Dominus feels, to me at least but you make your own opinions on that. The MR11, also a pretty bitch. Yeah, it looks <laughs> it looks very interesting from the back. This looks like even t uh, longer to me. Like this looks like a really long car, but that could just be the shapes giving me some sort of a visual illusion. I feel like I would like this car if I used this even more than the Gazella. You know what, I gotta be honest, I don't like round cars. Like the Gazella is very, round in shape it has round corners but this car is more of a more of a rectangular kind of arrow shape which i like i like that i like things that have more of a rectangular shape i think mostly because a hitbox is a rectangle and therefore a more boxy car sort of represents the hitbox better that is also mainly the reason why i think that fast forward is better than octane even because it is a very rectangular shape. If you look at Octane, it's like a ramp, it's like a slope, it's like a triangle, kind of. But the fast forward is very boxy and rectangular, so it, it's more of a hitbox shape. Well, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope my insight on the cars and stuff was helpful in some way. Press that sub button and like buttons and turn on the post notifications if you're a big, big boy or a girl. See you and peace!